Hello and welcome back to Cabin Organic. Today we're going to share with you a do-it-yourself project making rhubarb leaf stepping stones and bird baths at home. You're going to want to start by gathering the materials you're going to need and preparing your workspace. Here I've laid a sheet of plastic cloth over a very long picnic table. Then Chayton and I went looking around our property and in all of our sheds and scrounged around for some old bits of wire that were left over from previous projects. For this project we used two bags of quick read concrete which we bought at our local hardware store for ten dollars. And we bought a few new trowels since we didn't have any. For this project we really only used the triangular one on the left. Next we started to prepare what we needed for the small round stepping stones. So what I did was I went out and picked some rhubarb leaves. I laid them flat on a surface and I used a sharpie marker and traced a circle around the edge of the cake pan and then I just cut it out with scissors and kept trimming it until I had a nice fit in each cake pan. Then I took the leaf out and I oiled the entire pan with some vegetable oil and I also cut out some small squares of wire and I'm not sure if I have a picture here but I have small squares of chicken wire that will fit inside of the pan. If you want flat rhubarb leaf stepping stones then you would not use the piles of sand you would just lay the leaves flat um, on the table. Next I prepared the area for the whole rhubarb leaf stones. What you do is you put small piles of sand on top of your plastic. Each pile of sand is for each rhubarb leaf. And then you put a piece of plastic over that pile of sand and then your rhubarb leaf goes on top of that. And then you begin to kind of play with the sand a little bit to make it just the right shape for your leaf. Then you take your chicken wire and lay it on top and with wire snips you just cut the chicken wire so that it's a little bit smaller than each leaf. Here you can see I've got everything laid out. I've got my leaves laid on their pile of sands. I've got my um, cut out round leaves all ready and sitting at the bottom of oiled cake pans and I have all of the pieces of wire cut out and ready to put inside of the first layer of concrete and those are just set to the side. Once you are absolutely ready and are sure that you have everything laid out and at your fingertips, you can start mixing the concrete. And I was so lucky to have Brian's help with this project because he has worked with concrete before and uh, we don't have a concrete mixer at the moment. So he was able to just do a simple little mix inside of the wheelbarrow. Just be aware that when you are mixing concrete, it is recommended that you wear rubber gloves, a dust mask, and even safety glasses in order to keep the concrete dust out of your eyes and off of your skin because it is corrosive and caustic. As you can see here, Brian is not wearing any of those three things, but he's doing them at his own risk. Once we had the concrete to our desired consistency, Brian shoveled a bit of concrete into each pan. So what he did was he shoveled in about an inch of concrete in each pan and then I laid a small square of chicken wire inside on top of that and then we piled on one more inch of concrete on top of that and that brought it right to the level of each cake pan. The role of the chicken wire is for extra strength and stability and I'm not sure if you need it for these smaller stepping stones, but I put them in just in case. We did the same thing for each of the rhubarb leaves. Brian shoveled on some concrete. As you can see here, I'm wearing rubber gloves and I am shaping the concrete on the leaf. And I'm just making sure it doesn't go over the edge of the leaf. And then I press on the chicken wire once I've got a nice even inch of concrete over the whole leaf press on the chicken wire and then Brian put another shovelful on and again I just shaped it over and it actually wasn't too hard. Mm -hmm. 
We let the concrete cure for 24 hours and the next day we popped out the stepping stones out of the cake pans and this is what they look like. I used an X-Acto knife to help take out the leaf out of the concrete because it is pretty stuck in there but you can get it out without breaking up the concrete. And as you notice here I also have a smooth stepping stone that has no leaf. I just wanted to see how it would turn out. Here's our son Chayton and as usual he was a big help throughout this whole project. And here's a peek at the whole rhubarb leaf stones. Um, again, it was a little tricky getting the leaf, pulling that off of the concrete. I used an X-Acto knife, but I also have some small clay working tools um, that I didn't go and get, and that would have made life a bit easier. Little picks and little scrapers just to get inside the veins. But I love the way they turned out. I love that you get so much detail on the veining of the rhubarb leaves. They're just incredible. And if you look at the edges, you can see that there are some places where the concrete went beyond the edge of the leaf, and so it's just smooth there. And there's really no way of getting this off. You can't sand it off or bust it off. But I found that once I painted the leaves black, it virtually disappeared. But I know in my next round, I'm going to do a much more careful job of not letting that concrete go over the edge. Once we got all the leaves off of the concrete, we sanded the edges as best as we could with sanding blocks just to knock off any sharp edges. And then I used an air compressor to really blow off all of the dust. You could just use a dry paintbrush and your breath, but just try to get that dust off. You might even be able to use a hose and then just let your stone fully dry before you do the next step. The next step was to paint the whole rhubarb leaves uh, black with a black acrylic paint. I bought this paint at Michael's Craft Store. I think it was, oh golly, $20 or $30, but I bought it with the 40% off coupon, so I got a good deal. And we painted both sides of the rhubarb leaves black. And the funny thing is, is Chayton accidentally got some paint on the stepping stones. We were going to just leave them gray. And uh, when I wiped it off, it kind of looked cool. So we ended up just painting the stepping stones with a black wash. It's a bit of paint mixed in with water, and they turned out really good. Once the acrylic paint had dried, we took some powdered pigment that I had ordered on Amazon. You can also buy it at Michael's Craft Store, but our store was out of stock, so I ordered it. And I bought copper, uh, metallic green and a metallic violet and I just took a bit of each powder with a soft cloth and rubbed it into parts of the leaves. The final step is coating everything with a concrete sealant and we bought this concrete sealant at the hardware store. It is water-based and I was a little afraid of brushing it on the leaves. I was afraid it was going to rub off my pigment so Brian recommended spraying it with a spray bottle and that worked really well. And just a few parting shots of the finished project. We are so thrilled with how they turned out and I really wanted to give a big thank you and a big shout out to Pete and Diane Havkost and their website is concretegardenleaves.com. I'm going to put a link to that below and also Cindy Dyer and her blog Garden Muse. Both of these blogs were very helpful for me and that's where I learned how to make these leaves. This video was our very first attempt at making these leaves and we will be making a few more batches in the future and uh, just playing around with different leaves and maybe doing some smaller projects. So we will definitely make a video and show you what we come up with.
I hope you enjoyed watching this video and were inspired to try making your own concrete rhubarb leaves and stepping stones for your garden. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more videos by Cabin Organic.